Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Today we're revisiting a DIY project that I did a couple of months back because I made a bit of a fundamental mistake when I did that project and that means that technically we are no longer compliant for the self-containment standard here in New Zealand. So we better fix it. All right, so what did I do wrong? Um, so if you cast your minds back, uh, if you're a regular viewer here, uh, if you're new, welcome. Um, but if you're a regular viewer, cast your mind back to a few videos, or quite a few now, probably two months ago, um, I made a storage tube to go under the caravan that would store our waste water hose. Uh, it went lengthways across the caravan, a couple of end caps, 65 mil PVC pipe. I'll link the video up here as well if you want to watch it, but. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. It did exactly what I wanted. Um, it was pretty cheap, so I was pretty happy with it. And I, yeah, I was quite proud of myself. I posted it. Uh, even our resident plumber here, uh, Mark from James Plumbing and Drainage, he uh, reached out and said, good job, uh, looks good. Do you want a job? Even offer me a job. <laughs> um, and then I posted on uh, one of the Facebook pages here in New Zealand, and then a lot of people were really quick to point out that I made a mistake. Now, the mistake was cutting the waste hose down. So by default, the caravans and motorhomes in New Zealand, they come with a three meter waste hose. Now that uh, is normally quite long because you normally get quite close to the dump station when you, when you go to dump your tanks. Three meters is usually excess. Um, and obviously our caravan's not three meters wide. So when I made the storage hose, I fed the hose in, uh, the storage pipe, sorry. I fed the hose in and I figured out how much I needed to cut off. So it's roughly, probably two feet, 80 centimeters, I cut off the end of our hose to make it fit in that tube. The, the, the actual hose material itself doesn't really compress, so I cut a bunch off. I've actually been really liking the shorter hose. Um, it's been a lot easier to manage when we're at dump stations, but that's not the point. Um, the point is that the self-containment standards here in New Zealand actually state that your evacuation hose must be a minimum of three meters long. I didn't realize that, I didn't read them properly. And so today I thought I'd fix it and kind of make this video as well to kind of, uh, I saw a lot of people in the comments of the video I posted saying, cool, we're gonna do that as well. And so this video is for you guys and to say, hey, I made a, made a mistake. Um, please don't make the same mistake I did. Um, you need a three meter hose. So today we're gonna try and accommodate a three meter length of hose under there. I went out and bought another length of hose because I threw the old bits out, didn't I? And um, we're gonna try and make space for that. Now, I think ideally, and a lot of you said this in the last video, you should run a pipe lengthways through the caravan. Um, you know, this is 19 feet, so you could easily get a three meter length of pipe lengthways here, right? Um, I don't have a lot of real estate around the axle area of this caravan. We have our two tanks there. We have a bunch of uh, gas pipes for the fridge. Um, the heater is right there. The diesel heater is just in front of the wheels. Um, a lot of plumbing is right there in the middle of the caravan as well. So I don't have the luxury or the real estate of running that pipe lengthways. So what I'm going to do is run, keep my piece that runs across the caravan, put a 45 degree uh, elbow in that pipe and then run another meter or so, um, probably 800 back towards the caravan and kind of tuck it up underneath the caravan like that. So I'm going to end up with a weird L shaped piece of pipe. I'm hoping it'll fit. Um, I think that's the best solution and it means that I can kind of reuse the piece of pipe I've got. Um, not spend too much more money. So this video is going to be me rectifying my mistake. We'll see if it works. I've got my little helper Ruby all lined up so we're going to go outside while it's still sunny and uh, have a crack. Well, this is a bit trickier than Ruby and I were first thinking. Um, I think in order to get the distance for the bit of pipe that goes to the back of the caravan, uh, the bit that runs lengthways, we're gonna have to move the pipe from the back of the gray tank to the front of the gray tank. Um, that's gonna give us an extra foot and a bit of our pipe and just enough for our three meters of pipe. Um, there are also these big metal jack points under here where if you had a flat tire in the caravan, that's where you'd put the jack to jack up 
you know, which side of the caravan you're on. And the pipe will sit just in front of them and it'll kind of act, I guess, as like a bit of protection for the pipe. Those are lower than the pipe will be, so if they hit the ground, uh, you know, the pipe will be safe, in, in theory. Um, so yeah, gonna have a bit of a dry run measure up now, I think, and hopefully it all fits. All right, so the finished product. Um, looks a bit funny, I know, but you won't notice it once it's up under the caravan. Um, Ruby's busy decorating it for me. Uh, <laughs> but it gets kind of, the old one got so covered in dust anyway, you didn't really notice it. It wasn't this glaringly obvious white pipe under the caravan, so. Yeah, I've just pushed it together now, just push fit. I don't want to glue it together just yet. I need to now see if I can feed my new hose. So I bought a new three meter length of the hose um, because obviously I cut the old one in half. Um, so I need to see if that all fits in there, fingers crossed that fits, and then we'll dry fit it up underneath. Success, it all fits. It takes a little bit of, a little bit of jiggling to get around that corner. Um, I suppose the, if you were to try this, I would first check to see if you can run a pipe lengthways through your caravan because you could just get a three meter piece of this pipe cheap as chips end cap it's on each end and run it lengthways under your caravan i don't have that real estate underneath unfortunately so uh yeah a few kind of jiggles in and out and then it managed to go around the corner so pretty happy about that i've got about 20 centimeters left in this end here to, to play with uh, obviously i'll need a little bit of space up the front for the connector as well the bayonet connector but yeah so far so good well, the dry fit looks good. I'm pretty happy about it, how it's sitting. Um, the curved elbow bit, the 45 degree bend, sits, kind of hooks around that jack point around the other side. It's not gonna get in the way of the jack if we ever need to jack it up. And um, yeah, that kind of protects it. And then it clears the uh, back foot, so where you uh, wind the back stabilizer leg down. It's a little uh, red thing you need to pull in and out there to release that. It clears that nicely. Um, so yeah, time to clamp it up. We'll glue it up first I suppose and then crawl under there and clamp it up. So yeah, pretty happy. It's going to do the job nicely. You would have recalled last time I did this job I bought a little puddle of this um, about $15 I think and I didn't bring it with me did I I left it at home because I did this job and we're at home so I had to buy another one and also didn't have a hacksaw on me bought the smallest hacksaw I could find like $4 and it did a terrible job but uh, that 45 degree coupling bit kind of hides my terrible cut marks so yeah a bit uh, hard when you don't have the proper tools that's for sure Well, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, why didn't you just do the lengthways piece of pipe? And I, I know I rabbited on a few times in the video about how that would be the easiest solution. Um, this actually surprisingly works quite well. It is a little stiff to get the waste hose we have around that corner, that 45 degree corner. A shallower angle would probably be better, or if it was bigger pipe, say if it was 80 mil pipe, it would go around no worries but you do have to kind of pull it and push it in and out a few times to get it to go around that corner um so that's probably the only downside to this um yeah i mean it, it, it'll work great for us i think it tucks up uh, nice out of the way there's also an angle to that end so that any sort of waste water that's in the hose will kind of run down and i can just clean it out quite easily so yeah all in all pretty happy with how it turned out um yeah Sorry I made a mistake. Um, hopefully you guys didn't make the same mistake I did. Um, if you did, sorry. Um, I didn't read the rules properly, did I, when I started? The self-containment uh, document is huge. I probably should have had a better read, maybe talk to some people about it, but um, 
yeah some people did say as well you could just have a shorter length of hose you know stick with your original idea have a two and a half 2.4 meter length of hose through there and then have another hose somewhere else um you know like a three meter hose so when it comes to your self-containment recertification i guess every four years you can say yep i've got this hose and i got this hose and you use that one drink you know most of the time when you use your other hose um you know for show basically um that kind of defeats the purpose for us because we were trying to free up space in the front storage of the caravan and that's why we made the pipe so we're just going to stick with that one three meter length i think and i'll just deal with the extra length um, if you've got any questions at all or concerns or I've forgotten something else <laughs> um, feel free to fire away in the comments below and uh, yeah uh, live stream as well this Friday if you're keen uh, Fridays every second Friday at 8 30 p.m. we have a Friday night drinks live stream so if you want to come hang out ask us any questions you got anything like that then uh, feel free to come along to those thank you for watching see you in the next video